Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this new video on my channel. Today we are looking into Smart Layout. That's a new feature that will come out very soon. I got the Sketch beta installed and we can test out this feature right away. Smart Layout is all about giving us new features and abilities to create flexible, dynamic and as the feature itself says, smart layouts. It's really easy and I will give you a few examples of how it works and I will show you on how you can access the feature and create flexible layouts. So I have an example file right here with a few things that we can test out right away. So as I mentioned, smart layout, it gives you the, the ability to have a flexible layout when it comes to, for example, um, positioning of certain layers or uh, paddings and margins. And of course, also text within such a uh, symbol. So I will give you a short example of how it works and then we will look at how we can create such a smart layout by our own. For example, if I go to over to this button right here and we have a label, I can give it a different name. So for example, I will say that this shouldn't be called done, but let's call it, um, let's call it register. And once I hit enter now, you will see that we get some layout changes in here. Boom, you see, we changed the text in here, the label and the, like the button padding in here or uh, margins, the, the space in between the button really stayed the same. Uh, the cancel button moved a tiny bit to the left and we still have the same positionings and distances between our layers and folders and so on. And this is really uh, like an awesome feature. So for example, if I now uh, say this label here should be password, and this one should be um, maybe email. Then we can now also say we want to add some text in here. Um, you see in, um, in our file that we have a fixed layout, like a fixed um, uh, text field. And if we now add a certain text, it should usually break at this point. So let's think about a long text enter an email address in here to register for this website. For example, something like this. And what now usually should happen is that the text will just be there in two lines basically, but the layout should usually just stay the same. But now with Smart Layout, you will see something else. Let me test it. Boom, I hit enter and we see the whole box, the whole login or register box expands. Um, not just this little input field, text field right here, but the, the spacings and distances um, stay the same. The whole pop-up model uh, becomes bigger and the dimensions um, change, but the distances and positionings of those um, labels, buttons, etc., stays the same, um, like uh, in comparison to the short label. If I go back, you see all the margins are still the same. So that's really awesome. So you can, you can now edit all the different texts and labels you want without thinking about are the design and layout in general. You can create flexible designs and I will show you a couple of more examples right here. So for example, uh, over here we have a big text, uh, we have a headline right here and imagine we add a bigger headline. So imagine we, we add something like, this is a tasty breakfast with Huda Gouda, whatever it is. You see, it's now breaking into two lines of text, but the whole layout stays the same. Um, this, right, this right here is a different symbol, so it's not really matching, but if we forget about that, it's still working. And I can show you something about this here too. Uh, so for example, we have a label in here. Of course, we can also just override it in um, our design itself. We don't have to use the inspector. 
we can add a different label like uh, add to favorites and you see it's life changing in here. The All the margins stay the same and we have flexible layout so that's pretty amazing. It's like a game changer for sketch. Another little thing that I want to like an example that I want to show you is this little component right here because it's not just about adding or deleting text and then having a certain change of the design. We can now also do different things. Um, let me go into the symbol like in a minute because what I want to show you is if we want to get rid of the icon right here, the text labels should also move to the left and I will show you really quick how this works. Um, when we are in such a symbol, you see that there is now a new icon um, at the beginning of it. And we have a few settings right here, which is called layout. So you see we have layout feature none, horizontal or vertical. And then we have a certain like sub setting, which is top to bottom, middle or bottom to top. Those are the vertical settings. Horizontal settings are left to right, center and right to left. So let me change that back. Um, now we have, as I said, an icon right here and I want to be able to remove the icon. What I should do now is to just create a symbol of this icon and I'm gonna call it icon comp, composition, whatever. Um, and while creating a new icon, you now have the ability to select one of those layout options. It's grouped for the horizontal and vertical uh, layouts and you can just select one of those but we don't need this right now for the icon we will need it uh, later on when we are creating our own component but now for the icon let's create a symbol and if we go back you will now see that we have a little switch right here where we can now um, hide the icon but if I hide it right now the text is still in the same place so let me get it back let's go back to the symbol and uh, what we have to do now in sketch uh, 58, I think it is, um, to select those layers that are affected by the layout that we want to produce, group them up, and inside the symbol, those groups now have those layout options too. So what we need is a horizontal layout. And we have a layout that is grouped from the left to the right. So if you have a layout that is grouped or arranged from the right to the left, so for example we have uh, an icon at this position and the text layers are left on the left side of it, uh, then you should probably choose right to left, but we have a layout that is re like readable from left to right. Okay, um, so we have the setting right here. You see that the group icon is changing and I can also display it for you again. Uh, so you see it's changing to the option that we selected. And now let's go back to our example file. And if I hide it now, those two labels that we can see should actually move to the left. Let's see if it works. Boom, there it is. It makes sketch files so flexible and dynamic on so many ways. Um, I think this is really a game changer um, and I really am super excited for it because it's so dynamic and I love it. But how can we actually create those, um, those components that are so flexible? I created a little like example right here and it's basically a folder that contains all of those layers. It has a background layer and two buttons and those buttons are also grouped up. It had the button has a like background uh, layer and a label. And then we have a modal text right here. The modal text is still um, like in an auto width layout, but we should actually change it. Um, we should give it a certain like fixed layout for our test right here because I want to show you a couple of things. So let me get this right here. So we have 20 pixels on this side and then we have Twenty pixels on both sides and to the top. Yeah, ju let's let's just leave it like that. Then we have those two buttons and 
it's it's really simple all we have to do right now is to select our like top group or this the layers that we want to turn into a symbol and we are going to create it right now and what we now have to select here in our layout selection is a layout that is from the top to the bottom because for example if i want to change the model text it should like change the layout um from the top to the bottom that those buttons that we see are moving down and we we will just test that out in a second so we have our little symbol right here and if we go now in onto our symbols page we can see it right here and our symbol has the little icon again uh, we can actually now also ungroup this folder because it's just staying in the symbol um, and uh, we have to now change something up because our buttons right here as I mentioned I want to change stuff in here so those buttons should be flexible too let's create a group like a header group of those buttons and I'm, I'm just gonna call them buttons the buttons group contains those two buttons and we have a horizontal uh, layout because if I change the text in here I want the buttons to arrange on a horizontal way it's not gonna um, be like two lines of text in the buttons let's create create a center layout because I wanted to test that um, be, the those buttons they are aligned centrally and I'm sure if we change the text in one of those buttons they should still be in a center position um, but with new text and automatically aligned. So let me um, check if it's uh, working. So we have the icon right here, the layout setting is done and we have a fixed uh, modal text. The text layers in here are still flexible and they have to, yeah, they have the correct alignment, I guess. Let's just try it out. Okay, we will start with the modal text, which is the easiest part. Let's think of something. Um, do you do you want to save your changes? And you see, it's moving downwards. I can just copy that and paste it a couple of times to just show you like a weird example of how you can. Um, work with the feature so I can post it so many times and it's working uh, every time like a charm so let me go back to normal now let's go back and maybe change up those uh, button labels so I'm gonna not call this save but I'm not gonna call this done but maybe save and exit and I'm expecting it to still be aligned in the center like, like those two buttons um, but the, the done the right button should be bigger uh, and uh, I'm sure it should work so one two three boom it's working okay so you saw we added a longer text and those buttons are still centrally aligned um, if I just create a copy of that and I'm gonna Put it here and let me just check the spacings i'm gonna um detach this from a symbol and i'm gonna grab this so this has uh 35 pixels and on the other side same um so you see it's perfect for creating those flexible layouts and it's like super fun and easy and convenient to use you can just uh alter all your settings like your layout settings in the symbols it's not working I think for your normal page, so if I have a layer right here and I group it up, you don't get those um, layout options. It's really just for symbols because it works so well with text overrides and also with those, um, is it, what is it called? Like if I hide such a icon, for example, it's also aligning um, and it's, uh, I can just say thank you to the sketch team because I really enjoy using this feature. 
So if you enjoyed this, if you learned something new and if you tr want to try this out, let me know in the comment section below. I will also post the download link for the latest beta that you can use for free to test it out. Uh, and I just want to say thank you for watching this video and for being there with me all the time. So thank you guys for watching it and we see us in the next one. Bye.